Oh, I got problems. My controller's failing. Okay, oh, get off my screen quick time, you fool. Okay, we gotta get... Damn it, it's nighttime. It is nighttime and I got no fire. Okay, get off. Quickly, make a fire. What do you got? What do you got, UTC? Okay, make a fire right here. Okay. Oh, God, we almost died. Quick time almost killed me. Oh. <sighs> What is going on? You know, the clans here. Back in your life with another episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. You know it. Uh, we are, of course, playing as the lovable Tom Hanks American film icon. In the first episode of this run and fourth of the series, we started off as Tom. And uh, we set out in search of, you know, basically the thing we couldn't find last time. The thing we struggled so hard to get started with. And uh, that is gold, and I still haven't found it. It's day four, and in fact, I don't know what I did, how I ended last episode, but I, I must have ended it late in the day, like a fool, because it's already almost late. So we'll be starting this one at night. I didn't realize there was this giant collection of seaweed here. This actually makes a pretty good renewable food resource. Seaweed is solid, it'll last you a long time, and there's like 15 of them here. So I'm going to try and collect these before it gets too dark. Oh, geez, there's so much, so much seaweed. Last episode, I also told you a story. I don't know if I have one to tell in this episode. Do I? Not really. Uh, I've, it's been a quiet week for me. I'm recording this and the next episode in advance. Um, so I will have already, by the time you see this, I will have already done a Don't Starve live stream on Sunday morning. And hopefully it was Don't Starve Together with my buddy Prime, who I played Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes with. Uh, I honestly, at this point, because I'm recording this in the future, have no idea how that went. And the main reason I'm trying to get myself ahead is so I can record another game. It's a story-driven game, and I'm not sure how those are going to fit in the channel going forward. Really, I'm not, because... Series like this, Don't Starve, are great because I can get really into them and then when I no longer want to play this game, I can just stop. And I'm not leaving you guys hanging as long as I have come to a death with the permadeath. Oh, I got problems. My controller's failing. Okay, oh, get off my screen quick time, you fool. Okay, we gotta get... Damn it, it's nighttime. It is nighttime and I got no fire. Okay, get off. Quickly, make a fire. What do you got? What do you got, UTC? Okay, make a fire right here. Okay. Oh god, we almost died. Quick time almost killed me. Oh. <sighs> okay, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, I have no idea. Yeah, Prime and I would have hopefully played that already. And then the game, yes, yeah, story-driven games. Uh, I won't say what it is, just in case I don't end up playing it and that gets some of you guys disappointed. But, um... It's, it's one of those games like the Beginner's Guide, which I've played in the past, and I can probably throw up a card for you now if I remember. Uh, one of those, like, you know, takes two hours to play. I'll probably make four half-hour videos on it. And, um... Oh, we don't have the flint. We are out of flint. Can I make a torch? Let's go find some flint. Is there a beach in this biome? Yes, directly south. Wait, directly south? Yes, that's right. God, there's a spider's nest in this darkness. Okay. Oh, man, that was actually not a bad night. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves some flint, and we'll make a new axe, and hopefully we'll set out in search of a golden boulder island. That's all I'm looking for out here. Uh, and I should use our fire while we've got it to cook everything in this inventory. And how's this raft doing? I hope this raft's doing okay. Looks adequate. That'll get us to the next island. All right, uh, so what are we doing here? We cook this up, and we just eat it. And then we cook all these, or as many of them as we can. Actually, I don't know if we should cook them all. Maybe we'll only cook a few like we did with the sweet potatoes, and we'll see how far that'll get us. Uh, and yeah, screw it. Where's my raft? Hop on it. Let's search for gold. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the story-driven games, and the main reason... Let's go north. There's clearly an island up there. And the main reason is that, one, they they never get quite the same kind of feverish viewership. I don't get nearly as many comments and likes on games like that, despite the fact that I adore them. And um, I really enjoy them. They're an emotional experience, but they're a 
bit of a chore to record and edit and if I'm not getting the great feedback on them, I, I don't know. So if you are seeing the series that I'm, I'm hinting at right now, you'll be seeing the episode coming out on the same day as this one, probably later in the day. I'll put this one out at the usual time around 11 a.m. And then you might see another video in the early afternoon. Um, I hope I hope I do get a chance to record it and put it out, and I hope maybe you guys like it. Oh, that's a part of my boat breaking off. But, but um, we shall see. My week this week has been one of not YouTubing quite so much. I've gotten back to streaming, which has been awesome. And I don't know why I stayed away for quite so long as I did. But um, instead of recording a lot this week, I have actually been doing stuff around my house. I painted a whole room. Spent two days, actually had my mom come up to give me a hand, uh, me and my brother a hand. And, uh, oh, this is a monkey island. I'm not just going to hop off my raft. I'm going to see if we can ride it till we find gold, which we have found. Hallelujah. Geeks, I am. this episode is a success no matter what now. No matter what happens from this point. Oh, i got to empty some inventory space. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, let's drop this. Nope. Yep, drop that crappy pick. Equip this. Golden nuggets, baby. Okay, and let's not settle for that. Uh, let's, um, speaking of dropping stuff, let's drop those doubloons. Let's make a new pick. And we'll, 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 there's plenty. There's gold aplenty here. We got, we got lots. This is the kind of thing that needed to happen to poor old Wilson. Tom Hanks, you know, American icon, just gets luckier. Dude, solid gold at the box office. He finds solid gold on these islands. Get lost, you monkey bastard. I smacked him silly. Now, when you hit them, they start throwing poop at you. And the poop affects your sanity. So I probably shouldn't have done that. The poop is... That's basically how you get poop in this game. Get lost, you monkey bastard. Yeah, throw your poop at me, you idiots. Okay, I'm going to pick up this manure. Oh, God. Okay, I can't. I can't even pick it up. I shouldn't have tangled with these monkeys. Look at what they're doing to my sanity. I got plenty of advice from you guys saying like, oh yeah, don't worry about, you know, this or make sure you do that. And one of the things, my buddy Peter, who's been tuning in since I played Ark, not buddy, I guess we've never really been <laughs> hung out in person, but a subscriber who I feel like I know pretty well, he, uh, he said, yeah, watch out for that monkey poop. I thought it was affecting my health. It screws with your sanity. And that makes total sense. I mean, wouldn't a monkey throwing its own feces in your face drive you crazy? It definitely would for me. <laughs> See, the monkeys have calmed down, although they're fighting some weird one-eyed frog thing. Yeah, they're just dummied it. Uh, you can make the monkeys your friends. Did we talk about this in the previous episode? If I give them things they like? This uh, picking flowers restores my sanity, by the way. If I really wanted some poop, I'd go smack some monkeys around. But I think what we should do now, yes, more gold, is we should head back to the island we were just on, that four biome one. Okay, nobody pick up the gold nuggets. Get lost, you little freaks. Get lost. Okay, now they're throwing poop at me, run. Run, you're getting pooped on. Okay, we got, we got five gold nuggets. I think that is exactly the amount we need. Give me this flower, just in case you guys monkey poop the hell out of me. And we'll see you later, idiots. I said we'll see you later, idiots. I, I don't know if it's trying to find something that works or trying to be more myself or what, but playing this game and playing uh, Fallout in the kind of new format that I've gotten myself into makes me feel like I am myself. Like I'm playing, uh, like I'm not goofing off playing a character or trying to do something that someone else is doing. And that's the whole goal of this thing, right? Because you, you get to choose, basically, who's going to be your fans, who's going to be your viewers, by the content you make. If I made all Call of Duty videos, I would have a totally different set of subscribers than I do now, right? And that's because I didn't make Call of Duty videos. So it's up to me. I kind of choose who is going to be my viewers. And uh, it doesn't make sense to try and be somebody else, right? It doesn't make sense to do what Markiplier's doing just because it works for him. Be you know why it works for him? Because that's who he is. Be your damn self, and that's what's going to work for you. That's my approach, at least, or the approach I'm on at the moment. I'm new to YouTube, and I haven't found any crazy success yet, so there's a likelihood that I'll just kind of keep changing things up. But uh, I really like the way things are going at the moment. I am low on wood. All right, 
Let's see if we can build ourselves a science machine. We need more wood. Okay, well, we'll wait. And maybe we make a new flower bandana. Whatever you call it. Garland thing. Uh, it helps your sanity, which we could use right now. Plus, Tom looks adorable. Doesn't he? Hello! Uh, oh, I should be paying attention to how long this recording is going on. I gotta make sure I don't run too long. I think going forward episodes are going to be in the 20 to 25 minute range. I spent a long time trying to avoid making videos that long, but I, I think that's what you guys like. There's a few of you guys that like to come back to this channel every day and watch whatever it is that I'm putting out, and you just dealt with them being short for a while. It seems to me that you like these longer running series where you can you know, watch me do something one day and then come back a day or two later and uh, watch me carry on where I left off, right? Um, and uh, having a couple series on the go is fun too. I don't know why I'm talking so much about YouTube. I really should have I really should have made some preparations, come up with something to say for today. I don't know. Let's just talk about the game. What are we looking for? We're not looking for anything. Wood. Yes. Wood is what we're looking for. Can I make an axe? Maybe we're looking for... Yes, I can. Good. I was going to say, maybe we're looking for flint first. But this will do. You know, it's the one thing that feels cheaty about playing with Hanks. Is the hit, <clears throat> is the fact that he can just walk up to crabs and kill them because he's so likable. Like, they don't even run away. See this? They're just like, okay, Tom. You're amazing. If you need to kill me, go ahead. I love you. Um... But all the characters have a thing that, you know, like, what's her face? She can just start fires. She has a lighter. She can always start fires. That's a huge advantage. Or uh, Walani, who I played on my last live stream, she just starts with, like, this surfboard boat that she doesn't need her hands to use so she can carry a torch while she's on it. And she goes so fast on the water. So that makes sense, right? What are you eating? You eating my coconuts, you big fool? You can make friends with these guys, too. You like, uh... You like limpets? Oh, I love friend. He does like limpets. What about monster meat? Oh, he loves monster meat. Olibrius. Our new buddy, Olibrius. Come with me. Oh, he's awesome. I didn't know you could... The last time I tried to give him something, it was like a sweet potato or something. He totally lost it. He just went nuts and started smashing me. And now he's our friend. You, you really like limpets. Because I don't. What? You ate them last time. Okay. Jeez, picky eater. Sensitive. Alright, we'll grab this too. I know we're going to need lots of wood for the uh, alchemy. Smash a mean tree. Yes, I do. You can have the coconuts, big guy. I'll cook them up for you next time. Oh. Sleeping cutie. See, this is the point where you go, damn, this pig is annoying. I'll see you later. Grab a hammer, break down your science machine, break down your fire. He wakes up. You're on another island somewhere. But I like Alibrius. I ain't going nowhere. Let's have a sip of coffee while we wait out dawn. Thermal stuff. Oh, look what we can make, guys. A better backpack. I will take this all day, all night. And perfect timing. Let's drop some of this crap. Hey, what are you eating? You're not eating my stuff. Oh, hey, did you just poop? He poops. I didn't know you could get that from him. We got a better backpack on now, and we're going to smash some rocks. Let's go see where we're headed. And that's all we're going to get done for today, as I think. So let's we're going to smash the hell out of some rocks. This is what, by the way, why you don't build on the beach. Look at that tide. Comes right up the damn beach. I like this biome. I like this plains, whatever you call it, biome. This one here. The meadows, I don't know what they're actually called, but that's pre it's a pretty good biome. You never run in into freaks, monkeys, spiders, idiots, and um, never getting flooded. Don't have to deal with poison gas holes, anything like that. I mean, I guess while I'm at this, we should continue preparing for the farm by digging up some of these, right? And we can use his manure to, like, if I find the first berry bush... We can transfer it over, and maybe if I keep feeding this fool, he's going to keep pooping. Keep us, just keep us deep, wealthy in fecal matter. <laughs> well, I can dig a crab den, eh? What happens? Oh. Oh, why would I do that? That seems horrible. 
Oh, boulders. Let's wreck some boulders. Oh, he doesn't do that for you. He'll punch a tree for you, but that's it. Can I make him carry stuff? That would be lovely. If I just had a big pigskin backpack. Oh, you know what? Those four extra inventory spaces, that's a game changer. I know, I, I think I probably built that backpack in our last run, but I don't know, I'm liking it now. Yes, dig these all up, we'll replant the mothers, and yes, there's another boulder to break. I love friend, I love you, Alibrius, what a great name, sounds like a Greek god, a Greek hog. <laughs> Oh, he's making way too much noise now. That's just disgusting, whatever's going on with him. <laughs> Alright, we'll be totally geared up. We'll probably need some more wood, too. I know you need a lot of planks uh, for the next step, so that's probably... Punch the tree. Do it. Oh, he's cute. New little piggy follower. How cute. Alright, we can clearly build another thing. I just heard the, the ding of invention. Um, yeah, we've almost cleared this dang beach off when it comes to the good stuff. Keep chopping down the big trees. I like these big, anything, oh. Oh, what a sweetie for helping me out. You don't expect that kind of service. From, oh, he's doing it without me. Dude is so boss. Oh, that's my new best friend. Oh, yes. This has been a great episode. You find gold, you make a big pig best friend. Life is good, and uh, the day is coming to a close. Let's see if we can't end it by building an alchemy engine. I think we'll probably just need a little more lumber. Oh. Yeah, smash it. I'll let you finish that one off, buddy. I'll go start over here. Hey, you are, your ability to focus on a task is really limited. Must be that pig brain. I'm going to give you so many coconuts tonight, and you were going to give me so much poop in return. It's going to be great. Who said nice one? Is that parrot making wisecracks? Get lost. Yes, I keep thinking he's going to punch me, but he's not. He's just showering me with love and adoration. It's wonderful. Uh, and where's my pick at? Come on, tell me I got a pick. There we go. Oh, tell me I got enough pick to break this boulder. Nope, definitely not. Alright, I hope we're geared up. I hope we got everything we need. We, I know we got tons of grass. We can plant a bunch of twigs now. And um, we'll cook up some coconuts for old uh, Oli. I don't know if he needs a short name. Look at this. The beginnings of a farm. Tremendous. Okay, now. Can we craft? What do we need? Electrical doodads, so cut stone times two. Cut stone right down here. Cut stone. And then electrical doodad, which would be here. Right, pick this one up so it doesn't get lost. And now, uh, alchemy engine needs two more cut stone, four more wood. So can I make it? I can definitely make it on the cut stone. I don't have enough wood. It requires like some stupid amount of wood, doesn't it? Four. Oh no, we yeah, we're almost we almost have enough. Alright, let's go chop down one more tree. Oh god, it's nighttime. It's on the verge of nighttime. What? Are there no trees left? Uh here. Is Librius gone? He go to bed? I really need to feed that dude some coconuts. I'm gonna need his poop. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut some stuff out of this episode if I'm gonna actually make it till nighttime. All right, get back to the camp and let's call this thing. Hurry up, Lord. Yeah, it's you know nice having longer episodes, but then I get carried away and I don't want them to be too long. What's up, Alibrius? You okay, big, 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 you big goof? Uh, throw some something on the fire. I can throw one fuel on the fire. Uh, we'll eat all our limpets. Eat all this. Cook some up. Yes, it's going to be a good night. And we'll we'll make it to the end of the first week. 
and we'll have be feeding a Librius. Where is Sun? Sun is not coming back, my friend. Not tonight it isn't. Not this episode. Maybe next episode you'll see the sun. I'm going to end this one before we make it that far. Okay, so. Make those. Science machine. I'm just going to make this alchemy engine. That's how we're ending this episode. Yes, come on. Alchemy engine, come to me. Oh, what an episode. Find gold, make a best friend, build a science machine, build an alchemy engine. Geeks, thank you for watching this one. I got to finish it before sunup. I really appreciate the love I'm getting on this series. I'm going to keep it going. And hopefully... Oh! Oh, no, I smashed him in the face. Okay, that's the end of this episode. Geeks, I will see you in the next episode. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, talk to you next time. Go on in. Charlie serves the drinks. Charlie. I deal with the drunks. Okay, him. I remember now. Ooh, a dude's giving me the stink eye. Do you hear that? That's not a standard Fallout song. Oh, yeah, right. Oh.